Hello and welcome to an incredibly beautiful location here in Windsor for this live stream. As you can see, the sun is shining. My name is Kyle Walker. I'm joined by Abby McCarthy, and we are very, very excited to share the next 15 minutes with you with some exciting times ahead. Oh, yes, we are, because today is the day that England's Lionesses fly to Australia as they prepare for the 2023 Women's World Cup. So right now, the players are in the hotel. They are stuffed those suitcases full, trying to zip them up and then they're going to be getting on to the team coach behind us and then going off to Australia. Before they jet off though, we are going to be talking to a few of the players, so don't go anywhere. Yeah, make sure you send your questions in as well. Of course, we want to hear from you. So send us your questions, send us your love, your support as well. And make sure you use the hashtag lionesses down under or you can stick it in the comments below. We will be checking them. I'm going through them all and we'll be sharing as many as we can during the show. I mean, they're flooding in already. We love you lot. We really, really do. Poppy says, you're such an inspiration to all the girls and boys out there. Keep smashing it in Australia and do England proud. I'm sure they absolutely will. And Donna has sent us this message. Good luck, ladies. Keep that momentum going from the Euros and inspire more girls to play. Thank you for everything you do from a now taxi driver and chief supporter of a 10-year-old granddaughter defender. Love that. <laughs> and a lovely sentiment right here from Lou who says, good luck. We are all behind you go and smash this for all of those who came before and everyone after this is your time to shine right well incredible times i'm loving all of the positivity ahead and look who we're joined oh with my already God, i mean this go. is absolutely incredible. M to the nice b to hello surprise. how are you i'm good thank you how are you yeah good thank you it feels what? like yeah good mood in in camp what's this i've just um, what's this uh, i've just seen this in your hand all yes. right so me and rachel just got given a photo each um, oh, this was from cute, the Arnold Clark, and she got another one from training. Show the camera. Yeah, show All the, the viewers will want to see. Can we, can we get a well. close up with that one? Don't worry, there's plenty of more of this to come. I mean, that's amazing. That's nice to see. Yeah, it feels like the there's good vibes already. Everyone's got smiles on their faces. Of course, it helps when the sun's out as well, <laughs> but you're off to a World Cup. I mean, how exciting is this? Yeah, it's, it's every player's dream. I think you dream of this when you were a little kid and. Um, yeah, we've got some players going to their second, third, some are going to their first, so we've got a really uh, variety in the group, but yeah, everyone's in good spirits. How can you not be when you're going to a, a major tournament in a beautiful country? And just a long flight, isn't it, to Australia? <laughs> How are you feeling about that? Yeah, um, OK, I'm just hoping I can sit still for long enough. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see, but yeah, I think we'll, we'll try and get as much rest as possible. When you get bored and you want to get up and go for a walk, who are you making a beeline for? Who are you going to talk to first? Well, I'm, I've already checked if Rachel's sat next to me, and she is, so okay. that's confirmed. <laughs> cool. I can confirm I'm sat with Rachel, yeah. as you'll probably guess. This is as usual. Yeah, yeah so... Um, who will be avoiding? Anyone? Who's a snorer? Who, who, who's saying, no, they're snoring, <laughs> I'm leaving them to it. That'll probably be me, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it'd probably be people like escaping me, but, um, yeah, I guess you just leave people to do whatever they want to do, but I'm sure me and Rachel will be doing something to keep us occupied. You obviously know this team very, very well now, and you know what it's like in every friendship group, there's always someone who overpacks. <laughs> who's it going to be in this squad? Ooh, I might be up there. Oh, really? I just worry about... Not, I'd rather have too much than too little. I think that's, that's, good, that's a motto good from my mother. So, yeah, thanks for that, Mum. <laughs> um, some people underpack, which really gives me anxiety. Because oh, I'm no. like, oh, my God, you're going to be coming to me in a couple of weeks. So yeah. I need this. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah. it's fine. We all look out for one Yeah, another. I've seen some people with just a rucksack. But I'm thinking, have they already loaded on yeah, a case? Yeah, the bags are already on. Don't right, worry. Okay, I was going to say. <laughs> I'd be like four cases, I think, at this point. So, you know. <laughs> Olivia on Twitter needs to know this. She asked, who is going to bring the most unnecessary things to camp? Who do we reckon? Ooh. Well, actually, we've just had an episode with Rachel Daly getting oh, out on. all these wires, and everyone's like, what the hell's going off? Like, a full bag of wires, and she says they're all necessary. <laughs> I'm not sure what for, but, yeah, she's got HDMI cables, a Has lot. She's got adapters, so... everything like that, yeah, just ready in a while. Literally, like, a full bag, though, I'm not exaggerating. So, yeah, probably... Pro well, people have just said we've got the most unnecessary things, so brilliant, I've been dragged into A that. bag of wires. There I've, we go. That Didn't expect that. Yeah, no, 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 there you go. <laughs> have you been to Australia before? No, I haven't. First time? Yeah, What first are you looking time. forward to most? And obviously, training, rest, the football. Other side of it, though, what, what are you looking um, forward to? Just exploring. I think I'm a very adventurous person. I think we've already got a little coffee club going on. Oh. So, yeah, we'll be exploring, getting some nice coffee. I've heard it's lovely out there, so... 
yeah, I think in general, just exploring the country. Yeah, the coffee out there is actually incredible when yeah, I went before. Yeah, that's loved what it. we like to hear. Yeah. A lot of coffee lovers. And uh, the support from the England fans is just growing and growing, isn't it, at such a huge speed. How important is it that you guys feel that support from everyone that's watching, everyone at home? That's really going to spur you on, isn't it, and, and the whole team? Yeah, definitely. I think we've got a lot of things in place to make sure we stay connected with our fans. I think that's something that's been a massive part of our journey so far. <laughs> Ray, Rachel you Daly's talking about Rachel? the cables. Come over, Rachel. Come, come on, on come defend over. yourself. <laughs> you, a whole take bag of wires. Do you need them all? I might not, but other people might. So you take that mic. Share that mic between you. There you go. We I heard. Don't. We asked the question: Who's going to bring the most unnecessary things? And I said we just experienced the situation. So yeah. it was just on the top of my head. But I bet you any money. Come next week, someone's going to say. I can't watch Love Island. Has anyone got a HDMI cord? <laughs> Don't worry, That's I've got three. three. Um, what's your current take on this series of Love Island? Discuss. <gasps> Ooh, tell them about my mask. She's got an eye mask. That's Love Island oh, edition. Oh, wow, you're prepped. Yeah. You've got the water bottle? So, no. no i tell you what, I'll, say, I'll take a picture, but I can't post them off socials, but I'll get someone else to post it. I'll yeah. post it. So you'll see it. Um, what did you ask about Love Island? Yeah, what do you think of this current series? Uh, oh, we're I actually like gutted, and, aren't we? We're going to miss Molly. tonight. Yeah, I like Because it's recoupling, isn't it? Yeah, oh, wow. coming back no from spoilers, Casa Amor. Oh, no, no nobody tell us because we're gonna have to watch it when we land somewhere, aren't we? Yeah. Anyway, I've just hijacked, so I'll give you. There back. we go. Thank <laughs> you, Rachel. Pleasure. Oh, I'll you, be sir. coming to you for HDMI cable <laughs> yeah. when we're over there. Thank yeah. you so much. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So. I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> we're talking Australia, we're talking about what it's like, obviously, heading out there. It's a long way to go, but you yeah. said coffee club already. What's your go-to uh, coffee order? Come on. Ooh, yeah, we're going to rate flat it out white. Ten. Ooh, you're going to rate it? Yeah. Flat white. Um, some days I have a little bit of caramel in there. Oh. Some days I don't. You know, start the day nice and sweet. That's oh, an eight for me. Hey, that's a solid that. audience. Nine yeah, yeah, caramel. Yeah, I can't argue with that. A vanilla would have been ten, but you know, it's all no, right. No, no, no. <laughs> no you're not going for vanilla? Caramel. I'll take a vanilla, but yeah. Okay. Not first choice. Now, we don't need to be late for the airport. I've done that a few times and it's, <laughs> it's, it's not worth it. So you go and get on that coach, get Thank a good you spot. Guys. Thank you so much, Millie. No worries. Come Thank and you. smash it. We'll see, see you soon. soon. Right, well, there we are, Millie Bright. I mean, coffee orders, Love Island, Rachel Daly's cables and all the things, <laughs> the unnecessary things she's packing. What a start it has been already. I mean, this is amazing and we've got plenty more action coming your way. So make sure you get involved. If you've got any questions, Lionesses down under, use the hashtag, drop them in the comments below as well. We want to hear from you. Um, and, oh, look at this. Oh, look, we're joined oh, by... What? <laughs> rolling through now oh my goodness that. amazing me. smiles on your faces amazing <laughs> to see you uh, lucy bronze katie zellum welcome goodbye see you later yeah, hello, well, goodbye. <laughs> before we get to that i mean lucy how are you feeling going to australia um all i can think about is the flying so i'm not too impressed about that cause yeah we'll see you in two days <laughs> <laughs> but going to australia is going to be pretty pretty cool pretty sick yeah I mean, I'll take this, this right. So it does. That one works. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're still right. There you go. <laughs> Stealing the mic. I'm not expecting an echo from speakers or something. <laughs> Talking of the long fight, what's going to be your strategy, Katie? What are you saying? Are you going to be like watching films, so reading books? Someone, probably. What's going to be your go-to? Well, do you want to know something? I was absolutely fuming the other day. Everyone was doing question and answers, and they all said, "Who's the worst person to sit next to on a fly?" And everyone said me. <laughs> I will live it. I said stand where. So. Oh, at least you not one me. Well, yeah, <laughs> you've got somebody you can sit next to. For sure. I mean, before we get into talking ahead of the tournament, let's look back a little bit as well because what an incredible few weeks it's been. But this weekend as well, we've been looking at the incredible home support mm. that you guys received as well. Katie, for yourself, an amazing atmosphere on Saturday. Was it nice for yourself, for the team, to be able to experience that send-off at Stadium MK? Yeah, totally. Obviously, we're going to be a long way from home, so we know it's going to be a little bit different. So it was nice to see our fans connect with them and see our family and friends at the last game in England. Definitely. And Lucy, for yourself, I mean... Major tournaments, you've been to so many of Jeez, them. Oh, all right. you've quiz question, to... how many? Oh, do you know? No, don't do this, don't do this. <laughs> quiz question, how many? Oh, in, the, in, the in, the in the comments. In the comments. You, oh, you tell us the answer, you obviously, come on. For England. Yeah, for just England. My sixth. I was going to say six. Wow. So, I promise I was. So that I was you're, say you're giving advice out? Are you the wise one Apparently, in the group Apparently, yeah. Yeah? What have you been Apparently. saying? What's been going on? <laughs> What have I been I've, saying? I've never heard Lucy be described as wise. 
Well, it's a first. It's a first, first yeah. right here. I right, mean, for right, some right people, though, some of the players, it's their first major tournament and going out there and being so far away from home as well, but the pressure, everything that builds, you've experienced it, you know it. So have you spoken to anyone just about that? I mean, yeah, I mean, we speak about the differences of tournaments and things like that. And actually, my favourite tournaments, obviously, we won the Euros, but World Cups are just, they're just so much fun. Mm. Regardless of the pressure and the games, there's just so much going on, so many games, so many crazy atmospheres. Like, they're so much bigger than, like, what Euros are, obviously, because it's worldwide. And each one that I've been to, obviously, we haven't won one, but I've still had some of the best times of my career, both on the pitch and off the pitch. Right, I mean, well. this could be the one. This could be the one that you Hopefully. win, right? You've got. To, you've got to feel very, very positive. Uh, Iris got in touch actually and wanted to ask you a question, Katie, on Twitter. You said, "How did it feel when you got the call up? Like, set the scene. Talk us through your emotions. What went down?" Well, I'm sure you know by now, but we all got a FaceTime call. Um, so I was sat staring at my phone for two hours until Just waiting uh, for it. Between his name came <laughs> up on it. Yes. Um, I was actually that focused on staring at my phone. I was still in my pajamas when she rang me, but they were nice pajamas. Oh, yeah. So. Okay, what were you saying? Like silky number? Yeah, I think oh, she thought oh, it was right. a new blouse. She was really going well. Treated, didn't she? She's an international, you know. <laughs> Um, and then when she told me, to be honest, she did look a bit sad, and I thought, mm, this isn't going to go oh, well. Oh, no, really? Yeah. Um, she played you there, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, she did. She yeah. knew what she was doing. And then she obviously told me I was selected, um, and I were over the moon, literally, as soon as I ended the call. Like, I buttoned her. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> <laughs> um, Got what I needed. Bye! <laughs> I rang my uh, mum and dad, and they were just so happy, so... Aww. But also, I'm, I'm hearing as well, I've got a bit of DJ competition. You know, I, I DJ Glastonbury last weekend. I don't know. Just that in there. You know, you know, there you but go. I hear you're the DJ of, of the team. Maybe I need a few tips if you've back been to back at some point. I mean, I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> what are the tunes that are going to be in your headphones on the flight then? What, what are going to be, be the fair, bangers? you quite like my music, don't you? Yeah, I think everybody does, yeah. 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 I like to cater for the crowd, you know. But we've got. Which is a crowd pleaser. Yeah. yeah. Good DJ. We've got a very oh, yeah. diverse team here. Yeah. Like, you know, when you go a bit to R&B, you can hear the people like, Change the song, don't like okay. this one, and I think, right. you know what, you can't please everyone, pipe yeah. down for one song, do you know what I mean? Well, I'm not going to lie, when you were filming, well, I was filming last week and before the, the photo shoots, I heard it was your playlist mm -hmm. that was on throughout the inside pitch. I, I approve, all right, I've got to say, I, it, yeah. I was liking all of the choices right there, it was um, incredible, look, we've taken so much of your time, so thank you so much, good luck, thank enjoy. You. Enjoy that flight. I'll be taking tips from you, all right, when I've got to do it, all right? You've got through it. I need to know how. Um, and we'll speak to you in two days. Yeah? yeah. yeah. Two days. I don't yeah. want to put that in. Just yeah. two days. There you go. See if you're still yeah. smiling there in two days. <laughs> Amazing. Lucy, Katie, good luck. And we'll yeah. see you soon. Thank, Thank you so you much. Guys. Go Thank smash you. it. See you later. And right, we'll you can take those. Well, yeah, you can I'm put yeah. those in. See take, you later. Take those Thank on the bus, actually. Right. We want to hear the juice that's going on on that bus, don't we? That's what we want. And keep your messages of support coming in for the girls. It means so much to them. Just use that hashtag lionesses down under yeah. how are you feeling then your first trip to australia it is yeah, yeah. i like, mean you, you might have seen some of the incredible news that yeah myself and jill scott the legend the Ooh. queen of the jungle are going to be hosting lionesses down under connected by ee that'll be coming to all of england's socials yes the youtube the instagram the facebook the twitter the TikTok. is going to be all across it okay and you do not want to miss it it starts july 19th all right and we'll be out there i've been taking tips from all of the players about how to get over all of mm -hmm. the uh, jet lag um that's for me all right I don't know what I'll be doing, all right, but I'll be there July 19th, myself, Jill Scott, and you can get involved as well. Keep using that hashtag, and we'll be um, reading out all of your questions on the show as well. I mean, the comments and messages are blowing up right now. Thank you so much to all of you for getting in touch. So this one is from Ella Owens on Twitter saying, good luck, girls. Go and show them how it's done. Keep doing what you're doing. You truly are inspiring the nation and giving young girls the opportunities that they deserve. That's what it's all about. I mean, it's absolutely amazing to be able to see any there. Have you got any more? Oh, yeah. Oh, got Caitlin on Twitter okay. just been on as well. Our girls are going to go out and do us proud no matter what. The whole country has your back, girl. Amazing. Any more? Go on, keep on coming. Oh, Charmaine's been on. Okay. We don't want to miss people out, do we? We love you girls. Go and do us proud. And keep those messages coming in because, yeah, big, 
big tournament coming right. up. Well, I can hear that. Look that at roar, this. Roar the coach of the is going. It's going. Anyone waving to us? I can see Give them. Blacked wave. out windows. Oh, blacked just out there. windows. Look They're at them. Big time. They're being taken to we the like airport it. now. Hang on, on a table. minute. I feel like someone's pulling a face and Someone we just can't waving. see them. You know? No, can they see us? <laughs> Maybe they can. Maybe they can't. Anyway, they are setting off. As you can see, it'll take them more than 24 hours to get to Australia. But I know these players will be absolutely raring to go even after that long haul flight. And you can tell just from all of those people today we've spoken to, Millie Bright, Lucy Bronze, Katie Zellum, they are absolutely up for this and they are extremely excited about going to the Women's World Cup 2023 over in Australia. Oh, they are so pumped. And once they arrive in Australia, straight back to their preparations for England's first match against Haiti on the 22nd of July. Yeah, Need to work out where I'm watching that. Where, yeah. Who I'm having breakfast with, who I'm doing That's a fancy brunch one. with. It will yeah. be. It'll be early for you, be evening for me, but wherever you are in the world, I'm looking forward to seeing what England England can do this summer or winter if you are in Australia. We can see all of these fixtures just now. So as we mentioned just there, 22nd of July, England kicked things off against Haiti. Then on the 28th of July, they've got Denmark. That one, 9.30 a.m., 6.30 p.m. for us, but 9.30 a.m. for you. And then 1st of August, they take on China in that final group game and you'll be able to catch that one as they travel all the way to Adelaide for that one, which, yeah, they get to travel all over. We oh, get to travel all yeah. over. And what can we expect wait. from this show, then? Give us give us a little insight. Obviously, Jill Scott, the absolute legend that is, yeah. is going to be there. You're going to be there. The insight, what can everyone expect? The insight, home? behind the scenes access, we're going to be in the camp as well. So I cannot wait for that, to hear all the stories, to see how the players are getting on. And just as we say that, they're taking off right now. They're heading to the airport as we said and of course we want you guys to feel as close to the action as possible even though we're 10,500 miles away so we're bringing you all the behind the scenes access on our channel so keep watching YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok to get the full Lionesses content. We're not going to be able to escape you. I'm not no. complaining though. It's going to be <laughs> a lot of fun this summer. All that's left to say then from us is but goodbye from Windsor and everyone across the country Come on, England! Yes, come on, England. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon. England will be at the World Cup in 2023.